Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Agent Gay, uh, playing Grand Photo Center as Dive Mission. Today, can open a mission made by Fatih Faris, and Tal mission is Anne of Berkeley, which is an independent mission uh, made by him. So, yeah. Gotta select this mission. Start things right now. Okay, CJ, I'm ready now. All right, let's go. It's time for Berkeley. Okay, I guess. Are there those uh, real guns or fake guns, laser guns? Get all the weapons. Yeah, it's like it's a war between nerds, and they have to use the real guns to kill each other. Really. Whoa, what the hell? Oh, the guns are right there. Wasn't shown on the GPS map, but I could see them right now. Alright, what now? Get in the car with CJ. Oh, the car is right there. My bad. I haven't seen the car earlier. Now what? All right, where is he now? He's at the Verdant Meadows. All right, let's go. Drive to Verdant Meadows. Yeah, by the way, I didn't meant to insult the nerds. I mean, People have like different occupation and all that. It's just because you know, in this game, like uh, there were there was already a plot for them, you know. And use most of the time, like Ber the relationship between Zero and Berkeley is like uh, they are like nerd rivals, you know. They're, they they like competition. They make like a you know competition against themselves with toys and all that. So it's kind of surprising to see them like using real guns, like they're going to kill each other or something like that, you know? But I guess uh, this this mission is not related to the main storyline. So anything can be possible. Anyways, where's the place? No, this is like the other city, man. What the hell, man? Alright. Oh yeah, it might be possible. I mean, because we we also see like zero in uh, Last Ventures, like when they, when he when he's helping with uh, the Triads crew to like you know make a heist in uh, Kegula's casino. And then like uh, during the mission, he said like something about like curse you, Berkeley. So, like, the rivalry between Zero and Berkeley is not only carrying it from San Fierro, but also from uh, to Las, Las Ventures as well. Even though, like, uh, it's not really sure that, uh, you know, Berkeley is actually involved uh, about all the actions in, in uh, the heist. Like, you know, Turn off, turn off the lights and all that, because this is what happened. Like uh, when Zero was yelling about like curse you, apparently, because uh, the lights were were off uh, at the Calculas Casino underground, you know. All right, I had to make sure where I'm going here, because kind of screw myself up here. So I'm going to the south, and I'm heading to Last Ventures that way. Well, I'm going to the south because I'm more familiar with the route that goes there, you know? Yeah, we're going to the wrong way, but uh, I'll get to the right way soon. Alright. Heading to the east. To the desert. Yeah, 
Yeah, I remember when like I played this game for the first time. You know, I was like, wow, the desert. And then, wow, the countryside. You know, because, you know, GTA Vice City and GTA 3 doesn't have them. So it was quite surprising. Well, I mean, yeah, it was quite surprising, but at the same time, like, uh, there's, there, there's barely anything to do over there. I mean, unless you, you do some mission at the towns and all that. But still, it's better than the... To me, it's like... Uh, overall, it's better than the countryside in GTA 5. I mean, GTA 5, like, they have, like, animals and all that, but the countryside is so big is that, uh, I don't know, you don't, you don't want to go elsewhere outside of the Los Santos. And yeah, in GTA 5, there's only Los Santos, and that's it, man. There's no San Fierro, there's no, like, Las Ventures. But yeah, San Fierro, they could put it at the, at the north of the map, man, but they decided not to put it, man. I mean, there's enough space to put that. Especially because, you know, at the north, uh, west of the GTA 5 map, it's, it's actually like a town. You could just replace it to a San Fierro, but no, they decided not to do it. And beside that, uh, there's the, the, that game, like uh, Watch Dog uh, 2. Like the settings in San, San Francisco, which is, uh, you know, San Fiore is based it off, you know. I play a little bit of uh, Watch Dog, well, only Watch Dog 1. I don't, know, I, don't, I don't really like the mechanics of it. And yeah, it's made by Ubisoft Montreal all the time. I know, like, uh, I know like we saw Montreal because you know I live in Montreal, my hometown. I know about the company, I know where it is. But I don't really play their games. Okay, look, CJ, I gotta go alone, okay? Okay then. Yeah, he's gonna watch like nerds fighting each other, I know. Kill Berkeley guards. Wow! Really? Yo, man. Like, nerds are going to commit some murders against real people. Unless you're telling me that those are robots. Probably. I mean, they're just standing in one place. So, it must be robots. Is it bullyproof, this thing? Oh, yeah, there's one in love balls. Alright, well, since there's one in love balls. And it seems to be bulletproof. Uh, I guess he's just going to run them over. I don't want to attract too much attention. Because if I'm shooting them, the, the one in level is going to raise very fast. But I have to run them like uh, correctly, you know? But there's some enemies up there. I have to bring them down. Dead. Dead. Dead, dead. Dead, dead. No, still alive, but he's gonna die soon. Dead. Alright. Time to bring those guys down. Come on, get out of here. Zero. Whoa, okay. Uh. Oh, I have a sniper rifle, alright. Yeah, apparently, like, Zero is an expert of, uh... Sniping enemies from far away, doing headshot. Get to Berkeley. So you're here now, Zero. Oh shit, that's Berkeley. Looks like a gangster. Came here to finish the job, Berkeley. Yeah, really sucks. Unless, unless what, Berkeley? Unless someone has another what another weapon. Oh wow. What do you mean? Look at that. Yeah, it's an AK-47. What's wrong with this? Crap. Guess we better do this crap then. Yeah, gangster style from the nerds. 
But uh, Berkey doesn't look like a nerd. All right, cool. Bring it on. Oh, that's a lot of health. Probably got a thousand. Yeah. There you go. Hey, Berkeley, you okay, man? Yo, you were shooting him to death, man. Nah, man, you shot me. Next time, try not to be a master bait, okay? Okay, then. Master bait, what do you mean? Look, I have to go now, Berkeley. Waters well, clones. Okay, then. Goodbye, Zero. Okay, goodbye, my old friend. Now I have to get out of here. So all the weapons they are using, they are like toys. I mean, like not the uh, little bullets and all that. Still Berkeley RC van, and those must be robots because, you know, once you bring them down, they are pretty much uh, dis deactivated. So, yeah. Anyways, I'm going to take the armor and then get inside. Reason why is because I have to travel all the way. Get to CJ. So CJ is some kind of a mentor for Zero, like uh, how to be like a straight killer, you know. Go back to Zero RC store. Yo, that's on the other side of the map, man. What the hell? Uh, all right. Well, I guess I just have to go to the north. The north. I'm going to the north. That's not the north, I know. Nor is that way. And then going to the east, right? Nope. I have to go to the north. To that north. Yeah, this part, this part of the map, it's like uh, they put like some hills mountains because uh like uh, they don't want like to show you that uh you know the, the whole like state is like an island pretty much they, they want to give you an impression that uh you know it's pretty much connected with the the whole like north american continent continent you know because it's andres like the state of andres is actually based off uh, real life nevada and california which is like two state con uh, like connected to North America pretty much like in a huge land mass and all that so yeah that's why they, they put like they put the hills the impression that it's kind of completely connected and there's like less likely that uh, you know the players will go like to the other side of the hills I mean don't see really like any reason to do that Probably to you know to take some uh, collectibles, but uh, oh, I don't see any other reasons. All right, should be long, guys. It's a lot of traveling, man. It's like one going to one city to the other city. It's like going to like uh, near the other city just to kill like Berkeley and his goons. I mean robot goons. All right. Uh, where is it now? I have to go up there. Yeah, I can take the bridge. I could be, yeah, I can do that. I can take the bridge. Yeah, let's go take the bridge. Screw that. Let's take the bridge by going down to the hill. There's no traffic. Oh, there's some of them over here. All right, there's the entrance to lead to the bridge.
All right, here's in Fiero. It would be great to see like a modern like the uh, Sandris. Not like GTA 5, of course, but uh, you know. When I say like modern GTA Sandras, I mean modern Sandras, I mean like uh, with modern day like uh, San Fierro, modern day Los Santos. Because you know, I mean like uh, the skyline is gonna change over time, you know? GTA Sandras is like, uh, it has the settings of uh, 1990s. And as in 2000, 2020, I'm pretty sure there's like new skyscrapers to look at. And pretty much all, like most of the pedestrian will like be carrying their smartphones and all that. And a scooter. All right, that's all of them. Okay, I feel sorry for Berkeley then. You didn't kill him, he just tells you to leave. Yeah, whatever you say then. Now then, I have to unload those RC stuff. Maybe you should go home. Okay then, see you later. That's pretty much the end of the mission. Thank you for watching and see you next time guys.